selected Psych Side for October Camp 2018. I'm a little bit out of breath because I've just walked up a hill. <laughs> Last got the trusty glamping. This is glamping. This is October Camp. The usual camp bed. Camp bed. Mattress. You got Cetera. a Soul 300. Hughes has gone for the solo. All set up. A few warm garments. Pillow, down bag, thermo rest, and uh, foil mat. So, look at the views. We're on the top ground today. Lovely weather. We're at our favourite campsite, Psych Side. We're going to set up have a few beers, go for a wander, get some drone footage, drink more beer, eat food and talk. We're going to be joined by Hosky and Walshy tomorrow and it's going to be a great two days in the Lake District. Hope you enjoy this one. So, the first beer, who knows what's going to happen from this point inwards. <laughs> Remember the weird beer reviews last time, Matt? <coughs> yeah, we all got a bit drunk. Yeah. We're going to do a walk. This is one of the highlights of our year, isn't it, Matt? Well, yeah. This is 11 years now, or is it 12? Yeah. Ugh. Yes. 11. Is it? Yeah. Because last year was the 10th anniversary. Yes, right. So, um, cheers. Cheers. October Camp. October Camp. Nectar. <clears throat> Here's to uh, shenanigans. Yes. Absolute shenanigans. Back in psych side. Base camp. The Bert's Grove. Psych side. Have you got your hammock? No. Heading off for a stroll. You look like Chris Packham. Who's he? Chris Packham. <laughs> He's like autumn watching spring. What's that dude? The, uh, have you seen him? Is he a very handsome man? It's Packham. <laughs> <laughs> Quinlan spot. That's where Mountain Mike goes. I'm just going to fill up my water bottle. Because you always need water. Water and a map. Yes. Don't forget those. Do you have a map? Yes, it's all up here. Yes. Do I have a map? Mine's up here too. <laughs> okay. Look at this. This is an interesting tap. It's got a nice horizontal section and it will rotate anti-clockwise to turn on and clockwise to turn off. So you turn it up. Riveting. You would only do this antibacterial shape. So we're coming up into the, the valley of Dovedale, the weather's taking a bit of a turn for the worse and the wind's picking up, so we're going to have to evaluate as to whether we get the drone footage or the drone up, um, it's a nice atmospheric afternoon walk, Matthew's got a stove, we're going to cook up some food on that and then um, we'll have a beer, we'll talk some more. Right. We're just having a stop off on a bit of a rock covered in sheep excrement. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we're going to get the drone up, fly it down there, and fly it up there using the uh, the mountains as a bit of a windbreak. Hope you enjoy the drone footage. Matt's got the mini trangia. He's getting a quick coffee on, or Chris Packham is. 
if you haven't seen it <laughs> autumn watch on bbc one at 9 p.m <laughs> do a link later here we go Well, we've uh, we've had our drone flight. It's gone a million miles away and come back home again. Oh, he's, he's dented his can. I've just opened a beer. I've already tasted it, but I'm just going to give it a very quick review. So we're on a, a Ghost Dance Chinook Pale Ale. So it's another IPA, but obviously not an Indian one. It's a Chinook Tribe Pale Ale. I'm sure they grow hops. Anyway, I've already tasted it, but as a rarity, that is getting 8.9 out of 10 from me. That is one, one of the nicest IPAs I've had so far this year. It's light, fresh, it's cold, which makes a difference, and it's got like a, a Palmer Violet aftertaste, which I think is very nice. So, Ghost Dance Chinook Pale Ale. Gets a thumbs up from me, that one. 8.9, very nice. You got exactly the same. Yeah, I'm just ripping my arse open on this rock. <laughs> the weather's coming in now, isn't it? It is. No. There's, oh. there's a mist descending, and uh, oh, the weather's turning, so we're gonna have to get back to camp. We've had a few strange noises, haven't we? A few noises. There was a sheep here, and it, it was spooked. We don't know what it was spooked by. Something spooked it. The anal probe. And there's zero sheep here now, so there is uh, there is some old man's tales when the sheep run away, bad stuff's gonna happen. We wanna go hammer camping up there, don't we? We do. Let's investigate. Hands free. Stable. <laughs> There's a pillow out there, man. Hey, 
hair dryer. <laughs> So, well, here we are. Uh, another toilet review. This is a toilet and a shower review. Can't hear you. Here you have urinal, uh, throw, toilet, toilet, toilet. I'm not going to show you down. You don't know what horrors await. Oh, it's Chris Packer. No, oh, two. Shower, shower, shower. Oh, we've got red cheeks. Right, we're back at base. We've got some chili. Matthew's cooked up. We've got some boil in the bag rice in the MSR reactor. With a wood gas stove. And uh, we're going to have our tea. It's been a nice couple of hours in the boozer. Elvis juice. Once we've had our tea, we're going to light the pumpkin. You won't be able to pick me up. Turn your head torch off. I'll, I'll put mine on. Oh. 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 Top quality brew that. There he is. Brew dog. So let's use, now we're on a boil here. Sponsor Burp, us. Burp Sponsor us, brew dog. Get the rice on. Oh. 
Happy October camp. Happy October camp. How many holes have you put in your expensive darn jacket? Twenty. Yep, so have I. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. <clears throat> We've got the pumpkin of uh, Scroat. Test the It's a Scrotum. Right, Henry VIII hat. Huh? <laughs> so that sits there on the knee. And we look at this. Hop to kill illusion, dry hopped lager by Sadler's. What's it say? Well, a surprisingly refreshing lager that boasts bewilderingly happy aromas <laughs> of zesty Mediterranean lemons with subtle sweet malts for a full, well-rounded flavor. Looks can be deceiving. So there you go. It's a bit spooky. There's a bit of a skull there. We've got the uh, the pumpkin of hatred on the knee. <laughs> and uh, we're going to delve into this one and see what we can see. So, on the nose. Oh, I smelled that a few hours ago. It's the urinal in there, look. <laughs> yeah. On the mm. mouth, it might be different. Here we go. It's very dry. It just tastes like it smells uranally. That tastes like a stale bottle of Carlsberg, I'm not even joking. Taste oh, that. Oh, that is disappointing. Taste that. Taste that. Hold that. It's piss. Christmas party, someone's left a bottle of Carlsberg on the side and you drunk it by mistake. That's that, isn't it? <laughs> that is an That's f***ing hideous. That is an accurate description. That is old beer. That's piss. It's old beer. They're charging 99p a bottle for that. I'm sorry, but we're being honest here, oldie. That is a bottle of well, that's It's time for breakfast in camp. This is what we've got, simple. Keeping it simple. Some um, some nice pork chipolatas. Some little thins to have mint sauce butties. And Matt's getting the real coffee on there. Yeah, bit of a filter coffee settle. Drip filter. With the homebrew funnel. And uh, he's got some sausages and stuff in there. Yep. Not a bad night's sleep. I was knackered. I was in bed at nine o'clock. Um, there's a strange rustling noise in the middle of the night. It genuinely was, so I was too scared to get out and see what it was. Transpires that a fox or a badger has stolen the Doritos and uh, it's eaten the whole packet, <laughs> which we found 20 yards away from camp, but you know. Got to take your chances if you're a fox, haven't you? <laughs> so we're gonna have this breakfast. Matt's gonna pack up. I'm gonna chill out for a few hours and wait for the arrival of the goat and Hosky. Right, Matthew's off. It's been a good one, Matt. Any thoughts? Yeah, it's a uh, usual October camp, really. It's been uh, a beery one, not too much. Nice little walk. Weather, unfortunately, isn't as dry as it said, but yeah, we've had a we've had a good time. It's been a good camp. All right, good one. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you on Sunday. Yep. You get the whiskey on the go. Laura. Oh, Jet. Right, have a good Saturday. Later. See you, Matt.